guys, it's Shuck here, and I have a battle here versus someone we all know very well. I have several battles against him on my channel. He's also known as the Black Killer Nacho, that's right, the legendary PK Sparks. He texted me a few weeks ago, actually, and said that he was getting Pokemon Black, and that he was going to return to 5th Gen Battling, and that he... And I asked him, could I be his fifth, first 5th Gen Battle back? And he said, of course. Now, as you can see, he got he's pretty much got four walls and two sweepers, and I pretty much brought sweepers. I helped the Ying Yang. So, we actually just did this battle within the last, uh, within the three hours prior, prior to narrating this, actually. Um. Yeah. We, we tried to get this battle off on the, uh, 10th, actually, but Wi-Fi was all like, grrr. Anyways, to the battle! He leaves, he's gonna leave with his eggplant, his ferrothorn, and I'm gonna leave with my Archeops named Ancient. And it's actually a Jolly Nature, 58 HP, 200 attack, 252 speed, with Home Claws, Stone Edge, Air Lace, and Earthquake. So I go for the Home Claws, and his Eggplant is going to go for the Nasty Plot, which automatically rings a red flag in my mind. That's not a Ferrothorn, that's a Zoroark. So I go for the Stone Edge, and I'm pretty sure, someone correct me if I'm wrong, uh, after a Home Claws, Stone Edge is guaranteed to hit, pretty much. So his, it's actually, his nameless, I came up with a crit. And he actually goes down to his actual wake plant, and I'm going to go straight for the Earthquake, because, you know, I don't want a home claws, because I know this thing will probably take me out with the Gyroball. And he's going to go for a Sword Stance, so he's like, you know, I'll stay in, I'll go for another Earthquake, I'll dent him as much as I can, and I know he's going to go for the Gyroball and take me out, or the Power Whip. He actually goes for the Gyroball, which is actually going to Oko my Ancient after his Sword Stance. So, there goes my Ancient, now it's 5-5 five, five all. So, after lefties, I'm going to go out into my chandelier, and I'm actually going to go for the fire blast. I thought he was going to switch, but I decided to go with fire blast anyways, and that is obviously going to wreck. That's, that's, that's overkill, like overkill 9999, 999, so 999, yeah, on that. So he goes on to his Eon, which, um, that seems like from, uh, like a version of Rudolph they did, like a really, really long time ago, but anyways... The Fire Blast does over half, and he goes for the Substitute, which is like, okay, I can kill his sub, break his sub, which is what I'm going to do, and I might be able to live the Dark Pulse. I thought he was going to maybe Nasty Plot, but he's actually going to go Dark Pulse. And it almost takes me out. I live with 19 HP. Of course, my Air Balloon is going to pop, and it's Life Orb, so I'm going to go for another Fire Blast. I, for some reason, didn't think Shadow Ball was going to kill us. You know, I'll go for the Risk. And I do take out his Eon, so it's like, woo! So he goes out into his Soldier Boy, his, uh, Scraggy, and that's a really cool, that's a cool nickname, actually, on that. And Shiny Scraggy's okay, I like the regular Scraggy better. And it doesn't take him out, that Fire Blast, and he goes for the Dragon Dance, and I'm just like, wah, because I don't want to get swept. I'm like, I'm going to get swept. So he goes for the Crunch, which is obviously overkill, and that's obviously going to take out my Chandelier. So now, I'm going to go out into Infidel. I'm like, oh, I can take a stab fighting move from him any day. He goes for the Ice Punch, and I'm just like, this is gonna kill me. He's gonna die to life for it, but this is gonna kill me. It might freeze me. No, I live with 17 HP, and he does, and it doesn't freeze me. I'm like, oh, because, of course, there's less than So he's gonna go into his cute, and of course, you're probably gonna think, oh, Flinch Hacks. Actually, I'm going to score the Flinch Hacks here, so that's one Flinch Hacks. And obviously he's going to be a 3H KO because of leftovers. I go for another Air Slash. It's not going to flinch this time. He's going to get the Toxic off. And after he gets his lefties, the Toxic is going to take down Infidel. So I'm like, alright. I'll go into... Well, I got Garchomp, I got Zorok, and I've got Terrakion. I'm going to go actually go into my Chomps, my Garchomp. So, hooray. First time I've used Chomp, Garchomp on YouTube. I'm going to go for the Earthquake, obviously, because I could go for a Dragon Claw, but I was thinking he would switch into his, um, Cofagaris. And I didn't want Mommy to hit me, but then again, it wouldn't matter, because Sandville isn't really useful. So I go for the Earthquake as he goes for the Trick Room, and I just, womp, my jaw just drops. I'm like, no! Because I know I can slowly take his HP off with Earthquake, but he's got the Trick Room up now, which means he's going to be first, period. So he goes for the Calm Mind, as I go for another Earthquake, and I'm like, well, maybe I can take off enough HP that I can go into Zorok, and hopefully predict right. I've got a Focus Sash, and go for a Night Slash, and if the Night Slash doesn't kill, go for a Sucker Punch. So he goes for a second Calm Mind, as this Earthquake will actually put him down to where I could t uh, take him out with another Earthquake. So I'm like, alright. 
It's not bad. I've pretty much got this battle in the bag, I assume. He goes for the Shadow Ball, and I'm pretty sure I could live a Shadow Ball from plus two, but he scores the crit. So, my Chomps goes down. So, I'm actually going to go out into Terrakion now, because I was like, I want to save Zoroark for last. So, now out comes Terrakion, and he goes for the Energy Ball, and I just want, because I'm like, this is probably going to kill me. But actually, I'm going to live with 80 HP. And he gets the special defense drop, which didn't matter. I was like, please don't miss with Stone Edge. I don't miss. So good game, PK Scar Sparks. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. PK Sparks, guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Check out his channel and welcome him back to 5th generation Wi-Fi battling. Woo! Welcome back, PK. Guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, like because of PK Sparks coming back. Epic Nosity. He just texted me. And he's got 13 minutes left rendering on his video. All right, um, comment because I love feedback and check out his channel. Definitely go sub him. Great guy and peace, guys.